everyone videos that you play to back in with another deck review. Today I, I have the Butterfly decks, which came from an Indiegogo project. Um, the front, you see a nice butterfly in black, and the bottom has the colors red and blue. With a stripe in the opposite color. Nothing on either side. The top, it says Butterfly. Playing cards and the butterfly, as you can see, is slightly embossed. The writing. The bottom says butterfly playing cards, first edition. Developed light in Czech Republic by Andre Pisnika. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And designed in Sweden by Stefan Eriksson. Put in Belgium by Carter Moon. It says like completely 100% uh, European. <laughs> the butterfly is also embossed, but this one's had some damage and gluing issues. In the back, same as the front, no butterfly, no seal. And then on the flaps, you get a floral pattern, which is also on the inside, and it says the sky is the limit. Floral, uh, the inside is actually a butterfly pattern, but the floral on the flaps. And it's right throughout, as you can see. The Jokers, well, let's go over what the deck comes. 54 cards, it's not printed by USB-C or even in Taiwan. These are printed by Cardi Munde in Belgium on a new stock and finish, so it handles really nice. The Jokers, you get two. This one is black, uh, black butterfly. It says Joker in the corners in black. And the other one is in a bluish color with that floral pattern within it. And the Ace of Spades also features a floral pattern. And it says butterfly point cards on the bottom, and it's nice and it's just a black pip. And this one, basically the same thing. You get the one that's black. The other one, however, is red to match the deck color. And the ace of spades is the same thing, except I've noticed that there is a slight color difference. It's got some like tannish colors, brown colors, so brown colors. Are, so it's it's slightly different. The backs, one is red. One is blue. Uh, there are one way, as you can see by the star, flower star in the uh, center. Also, there is, if you look at the corners, you'll see that there's a, a difference. That's another one way element. They're also marked, but I've been asked not to reveal the marking system, so I'm redoing the video as a result. Um, Everything else is completely standard in the faces. The backs are beautiful. Like I said, they've got the one-way elements. They're also marked, and there's a couple of different marking systems in place there, but I won't get into that. They uh, handle very nicely with this nice new stocking finish. I'm not 100% sure exactly what the stocking finish is because it wasn't specified in the project, but it is new. Uh, if you've ever... Some of you might have, like, old... Or older Ace Authentic decks from Carter Moon Day or Blackjack brand decks. And the quality might not be the best and you might be turned off by it. But this, I guarantee you, is a completely different stock and finish than those decks you use. And it handles beautifully. And I put some use into it and they still handle beautifully. And they look very nice when you fan them and spread them. And I like them. They're the beautiful decks. You can get them from Some Magic and... Socks and card shops. I don't know if collectiblepointcards.com has it, but you can check them out. Use the code NVIDIA32 to save 10% on your order. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I love them. I would say 10 out of 10. I think that's what I rated them originally. They're beautiful. They look very nice when you fan them and spread them, as you can see. And they handle very nicely. Card and Day is probably the most improved card company of the year. Oh, this game started this year. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. That's that. I'll see you next time with more.